Well, hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Star Wars Classic review, also 99, wait. Right? We're taking a look at Anakin's Pod Racer and Snowspeeder, so that's from 1999. So in front of the booklets, as you can see, there's LEGO Systems logos and the Star Wars logos, both the Episode 1 version and Original Trilogy version, and a picture of them in action, like it racing through Tatooine and the Snowspeeder, about flying near a uh, at at yeah, and on the back of Snow Spears ones is a couple of it in pieces and also a couple of kind of crazy alternate builds of like a catapult and a, a bug like ship of some kind, which of course always nice to see some alternate builds well in older sets that is, and also. I don't know if you can notice, but of course, on these older sets, little screen caps from the movies, and, which kind of explains the whole story of this uh, scene. And with this other one, which no alternate builds to it, it's kind of odd. But, Last building stuff, saying yeah. So, first of it, uh, hang on a sec. First of all, it is the original Luke Skywalker one, well, the pilot outfit. At least done pretty well. Or a torso print of which done well. Helmet print done really good or pretty goodly. It's at least kind of holds up compared to the later versions. And also no back printing and no back and no reverse face or anything, which is common of older mini things. It's like this, of course. And you'll see you get DAC with quite the same exact torso print and the base print of which just a common smiley face of older minifigures and the helmet of which kind of similar but with the symbol in blue but otherwise not much the same or just about the same focus Well, guys. Yes, there we go. Oh, there he goes again. Because there is from the back, no back printing, no double side fake. So as common of older me fakes. And also get and hang on. Let's get a hot rebel trooper. Of which some good torso print and also interesting face print for the time. When and of course it was the time of when there was hair printed on the faces rather than being like an actual separate piece. Oh whoops. Which they of course also did for quite some time. And also, as the helmet piece of which does have the visor in opaque brown, kind of interesting. A large gun there. And from the back of which is not at all any back printing. And also, the backpack of which is kind of similar to as what they have nowadays. And also, a pair of goggles like others. And yeah. And next up you get is Young Anakin Skywalker. Or, yeah, of course. This has some good torso print, of which also seen in the Naboo Fighter set, which I will also review later. But as you see, the 
Coming with with uh, the goggles act over like in this scene. Wait, if it decides to focus, well, I think it's, you kind of saw some of it, and then from the back, nothing much. And next up, we get Pac-Man on the doll. Oh, whoops. Padme on a doll. Okay. The torso print of which kind of similar to that of some of the later versions. And also the face print of which done kind of alright. But the hair piece of which quite interesting for the time. Like with the dreads and everything. But no back printing, no double side face of course. Which is common of older me books at uh, once again. And that is about it for that. And now, lastly, is the uh, Pit Droid. I was done, built kind of basically with two hinge pieces and also those uh, arm pieces from Classic Space and also one of the like, holsters to uh, be the headpiece and everything. And, and this one also seen in Moss Aspa uh, Pod Race set and a couple others and yeah. And that is it with the main things and on to like the little side builds included with each set. Like with Anakin's Pod Racer is you get just this little flag stand like with some tan pieces to be the sounds of Tatooine and also a lance holding a couple of flags on it. Is quite basic, but yeah. And also, with Snow Speeder, you get this uh, a little turret, which is the classic shield uh, dish piece, as well as Kopaka's shield. Well, in the first Bionicle Life wave, got a couple of the jagged slopes there, acting as the base parts of it, and also. A little 4x4 plate it's all resting on and of course can like bend up and down and like so so it kind of holds up for the time of it as well as in but also kind of works in modern sets and yeah and now to with uh let's see okay i think i'll start with the snow speeder set so the snow speeder here kind of similar to that of the uh, so a little similar to the later versions. Like, instead of like using some technic pieces and whatnot to give it the curve effect, instead it's with the uh, like click joints and stuff. And same exact kind of stuff going to it, and like a couple flaps here revealing. The, like printed tile piece which is also in the x-wing set of, from 1999 which i'll also show off later and those the back of which not much else to say but those put some good use of some jagged slope pieces which and also kind of clever for the front part of which which well at least it was, they kind of made do with what they had in 1999, but also a lot more of the, like, that tile piece, which is kind of common in some sets. That's for the back cockpit, which kind of folds up and all, rather than how on later versions, like, the entire thing can, like, flip right open. And I don't know if you can see down in there. You can see a printed tile piece or printed slope piece that has an at app on it. And also in the front area of which also opens up and same piece. Which you know is often good. Because you know it's kind of what happens in this scene. But enough space to fit your DAC minifig in. And also, of course, your Luke one as well. 
like however you want. And also, interesting enough, you can like slip it out and enough space to hold the silver lightsaber held. But you also do get the lightsaber blade piece as well, but not much space, nowhere else to put it. But it's just enough to like get the hilt on. Yeah. But it's not connected to anything, so it can drop out easily. I guess that is it with the snow spear set. And then, uh, hang on. And that was to with Anakin's pot racer set. So it's an already use of those, like, these, like, dish pieces also uses, which also used in the 2011 version of it. And as you see, What's not present in the 2011 version is the like uh, tan pieces acting as the sounds of Tatooine, all the which kind of works out for it, but not much. It's out of the color scheme, so, I think so. But also, good use of these like uh, classic space pieces, and also some interesting build that they accomplished for these engine parts of it. That for the resting area, see a couple of the like old style door pieces, and as for the, these cable pieces of it, uh, well, since I have which got this used off Bricklink, I gotten the like extra long ones when they should be kind of short of which, but not to worry, but that's okay. But and also do get the like jagged slope. Piece with some with an interesting print on it, which is also like in the 2011 version, and also have enough space to fit your Anakin mini bit into it, which of course is one of the important parts of this set. with a little comparison is like this one compared to the 2011 pod race or Anakin Sepulba pod racer one as you see same exact uh, kind of pieces added for the front bits of it but also with four uh, trans pieces instead of one but except on this one of which it's in trans pink rather than the trans orange and of course a lot of clear pieces to use with instead of actual tan. But the shaping of the front part of which just about the same as the or a little similar to that of the other one of which, but except it's more jagged rather than like more smoothed and all. But otherwise a good bit difference or a good bit of similarities between them. But at least until we get to the uh, Moss Espa pod racing, which won't be around for a little while, but yeah. And so now, on to with the final verdicts. So these are which a pretty good pair of sets for 1999. Like, of course. Like, well, for the Snow Spear, which a kind of quite good for you know, army building and multiplying and everything. And also Anakin's Pod Racer, uh kinda good for the time and yeah. And I bet some of you might have had some good memories getting these and yeah. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe and thanks for watching.